And just in tonight, a task force charged with weighing the pros and cons of adding subpoena powers to a citizen group that would investigate Virginia Beach police complaints releases its final report. Their findings, it should be an option. And your side's Brett Hall received a copy of that report. He's here to break it down for us. And what's happening, Brett? It would really entail an entire revamp of the Independent Review Panel. It actually would even change the name to the Independent Citizen Review Board. Now, the task force also recommends making the board larger in size and assigning a dedicated staff coordinator. The chairman says the report, which is right here, it was entirely agreed upon by all task force members. Since the shooting death of Donovan Lynch at the hands of a Virginia Beach police officer in March, Virginia Beach City Council has been hearing from concerned residents and activists demanding a citizen's police watchdog group with more teeth when an officer is accused of abusing their power. In the city of Virginia Beach, there is a need for transparency and accountability from the police. We, the citizens, must take immediate steps to restore trust in our police. That begins with the creation of a citizen's review board with full investigatory and subpoena power. Tonight, after two months of meetings, a council-appointed task force made up of former police officers, civil rights activists, and current board members agreed subpoena powers to compel witnesses and documents should be an option, with the caveat that it only be made available after, quote, all good faith attempts are exhausted. And eight of the 11 members agreed to it. While the police union previously expressed concern with the powers being given, the task force found that because existing policy already requires officers to cooperate with internal investigations, there should be no negative impact. The review board would still only get to recommend disciplinary action to the police chief. So what happens next? Well, Tuesday, City Council will be formally briefed on the report. No word yet on when the recommendations could come up for a formal vote. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.